Hey guys, Benny here from Crypto Catch Up. Tonight we're going to be running through ACX.io, another cryptocurrency uh, exchange in Australia. And it's quite an interesting one because they make the claim of the largest liquidity pool and order book of Bitcoin in Australia. Um, but not only that, what makes this platform even more interesting is these two sweet, sweet words. No fees. So when you're buying of crypto, on your selling of crypto, there is absolutely zero fees on this platform. Uh, the only fee you will pay is, like it said here, 1% flat fee to convert it back to fiat, back to your Australian bank account. So let's go through this and have a look. What I might do though is cover that up. It does say loser, but none of you are. You're all winners and we're in this together. All right. So as you can see here, guys, a couple of little brief overviews. So like we said, the liquidity, uh, they're saying that they've got uh, quite a bit of money in the bank to support uh, the dreams of all of us. Um, you can download all your trading details, which is awesome, uh, especially for when uh, the tax man comes along at the end of the fiscal year. They do say they have uh, secure services uh, and like I said, that 0% trading fee. ACX.io is actually um, owned by a company called Blockchain Global. Uh, they, I believe they purchased it at the start of 2017. But if I'm wrong, apologies. Um, they also have offshoots with a Hong Kong company um, who actually has a crypto arbitrage fund uh, since 2013. So if we scroll down a little bit further here um, You'll see here there's blockchain global. They do have a head office in Hong Kong and one in Melbourne uh, And it's just got the little spiel here back in 2013 Etc, etc Cool, let's roll on back up So what I'll show you up here guys is that they do offer a few trading pairs uh, so we've got Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, uh, H Share or H Cash, um, which is doing some cool things in their space around supporting blockchain and DAGs. Uh, so DAG stands for Directed Cyclic Graph, which is like IOTA's uh, Tangle. Jeez Louise. Um, fuel. Uh, which is Ether Party, which I'm super bullish on. Uh, looks like a great project deploying smart contracts with no programming language required. So that's going to be big for Ethereum. Uh, and also UBTC, which is a um, an offshoot, I guess, of uh, Bitcoin. And I think it stands for United Bitcoin. But as you can see here, it doesn't have any trading volume. Um, it might not have gone live as of yet. Um... Obviously for yourself, if you're starting out, you click open account, just like any other exchange in Australia, email address, password, done. Once you log in, you're going to have to verify yourself. ACX.io, I did it the other day, maybe two business days. They are fairly quick uh, to get onto that and get you trading. So what I might do is just jump in quickly to the account. First thing that pops up there is a couple of messages. So they've listed Ether Party, delays in transfers, as always, and they're listing another fork of that. Wonderful, let's get rid of that. So here you have your dashboard of all the available trading pairs. Uh, so your Australian dollar, US dollar they take as well, wonderful, and the rest of what we talked about before. If you click into history, obviously if we had any in there, you'd have all of that detail and your statements. I can only imagine that's where you download your statements like we talked about earlier of all your trading history. Hand that over to your accountant and say, thank you, ma'am or sir, whatever suits you. Um, if we click on funds here though, it brings up this little side panel, which allows you to withdraw, deposit, show your history and your withdrawal addresses. So if we click on withdraw just for the hell of it, it asks for the amount, where you want to send it to, put in your Google Authenticator, your two-factor authentication, 
and set a fee. So at current rate, that is around about 10 Australian dollars. And as you should know guys, when you're moving Bitcoin funds, the lower the fee, the slower it is. So if I can give you a quick rundown on confirm transactions. What did I type in? Right now on Bitcoin's network, there is 203,000 unconfirmed transactions. What that means for you is if you aren't paying a decent fee, your transaction is not going to be processed anytime soon. So please either pay the fee as much as possible or be patient. It will take time. They will get to you, but it could take days. This is one of the fundamental issues with Bitcoin right now. So moving back, you'd submit that and off you'd go. Withdrawal addresses here. It just gives you the ability to put in, you know, Ben's wallet, whatever you may want to do and the address. So you can set up multiple ones, you know, mum's wallet, dad's wallet, whoever's wallet, doesn't matter. Put it in there, save the address so you don't stuff up when you're sending it because it is a big problem. All right, the next one we should probably look at there is Australian dollars as well. All right, I'm giving up on this thing. None of you are losers. It's going to be okay. Same thing here. Withdraw, deposit, etc. If we go to withdraw addresses, obviously this one's going to ask for BSB account number label. Recommendation number one. Do not put any information that could be passed over to a bank such as Bitcoin transaction or anything like that because it's a very high chance that your transaction is not going to make it and your bank is going to have a little chat to you. So please do not do that. We are having issues with banking in Australia at the moment. Hopefully that will be all resolved sooner rather than later. But it's just the fact of the matter in the game that we're dealing in, which is crypto. All right. Other than that, this page does have a help, which is great. This is it here. Click on what you want to know. Uh, so API stuff for technical stuff, so don't go anywhere near that. But it does go through all the rest. So know your customer information, why they're asking you for your identity, etc., etc., etc. Wonderful. All right. So down to the nitty gritty, as always. The last thing on the on the cards. Trade now. So this is what their book looks like. So currently you've got your BTC. If I was to change it to something else, I'd select one here. Page changes, just like clockwork. We'd have a value here and the Australian dollars worth, buy, sell, price, amount. It's a little bit clever because I put in a price in and I try and type in an amount, but I can't buy anything because I have no money. So it has got some form of validation on the screen, which is great for beginners. Other than that, this um, exchange as such is very basic. It doesn't offer any of the whiz bang features that you might see on other platforms, which is why it's great. Because you buy your Bitcoin, you pay no fees, you send it to wherever you want to send it to, and you are off and running. So like always, you've got your sell orders, you got your buy orders, you got your candlestick chart. They offer it in a few different time frames for the candles and your moving average, which are these two lines here and your exponential moving average, which is once again, the two lines, but the exponential moving average reacts to the market conditions a lot quicker than the standard moving average. But that is all for another video on technical analysis and how you can apply it to crypto. Other than that, guys, you've got your buy and sell wall here. Let's go to something else like BTC because that is horrid. There we go. A couple of people buying, a couple of people selling. The roller coaster ride that it is. That is absolutely everything with acx.io nice and simple no fees um 
there's there's nothing you you shouldn't like uh it, it really is a simple easy to use platform one you should have in your arsenal anyway uh it may not be the one you use all the time because sometimes there are fees uh sorry their actual market price is higher than coinspot and, and other exchanges uh so that is something to be wary of but on a good day this is the bee's knees other than that guys it is christmas eve 2017 you have a wonderful christmas tomorrow subscribe down below if you're liking my videos let me know anything that i can improve on and thank you for your time